Welcome to Plus Sports and today you could say it feels really good to be a Nigerian. Today on the show we'll take you through the latest stories no doubt making the headlines as well when we look at news coming from cricket not forgetting to Naomi Osaka pulling out and also other wonderful stories concerning an update especially uh, for Xhaka all the way from Arsenal. This morning, I am also joined by Inyobong Monde. Ini, welcome to the show. Thank Good you, to have Joe. You. Great to be back on the show this morning and want to dive straight into it. Most definitely. And we will do that today on Plus Sports. So we will start off first from cricket. The latest story concerning cricket has it that England and Pakistan legends slam cricket World Cup star, the one known as Shakib Al Hassan over corruption ban. England legend Michael Vaughan and Pakistan hero Ramiz Raja have slammed him Shakib Al Hassan after the Bangladesh all rounder received a two year corruption ban. Shakib, who's 32 years, accepted three ICC charges for failing to report corrupt approaches, uh, which came during an international tri series involving Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe last year and the 2018 IPL. The star all rounder has made over 300 appearances for Bangladesh and was the third highest run scorer at the 2019 Cricket World Cup after hitting two centuries and 550s in eight innings. And now he's saying, uh, well, he should actually be let go, so to say, but he's actually facing a backlash, especially from the legend saying, you should have gone ahead to report. Yeah, you, you should. Um, fair play is what you want in sports. Um, you want people to be honest. You want people to be very transparent. You want people to be, to be open about things that are not quite right in, in sports because you do not want um, a few people tarnishing the image of the game. That's what you do not want. And if people approach you, if people offer you bribes, if people offer you um, inducements, if you like, it's, it's something you want to put them out there because clearly you want them to, to, to be exposed. You want them to be, to, to be taken out of the game because it's quite embarrassing where in, in situations where people are not quite honest, people are, are doing things behind the scenes that are not quite right. And he should have come out. And in all fairness, he, he will know that he is perfectly honest with himself. He, he will know that he, sh he should have done better in that situation. Two year ban seems to me a bit harsh, in my opinion. <laughs> maybe a year would have done mm. for, for a top cricket player. I think maybe one year should have done. But clearly, they're trying to set an example. They're trying to show people that you cannot act in this way. You cannot behave in manners like this. So I hope he learns his lesson. And I hope other people sitting outside and watching will learn their lesson that you cannot be dishonest. You cannot be, you cannot try to shield people who are not doing the right thing. And it's, it's harsh, in my opinion, but he will learn his lessons. Mm. Well, you say it's harsh. Uh, well, let's let um, uh, the uh, discipline take its course, whether you like it or not. In our next story, uh, this time coming from tennis, quite sad. Uh, yesterday, we talked about one man who's pulled out. Guess what? Someone else is doing the same. Naomi Osaka pulls out of WTA finals uh, with a shoulder injury. And um, an eventful season for Naomi Osaka came to an actually unfortunate end uh, when the Japanese megastar pulled out of the WTA finals in Shenzhen, China, with her right shoulder injury injury. Osaka withdrew ours before her second match at the year-end championships against fellow Grand Slam winner, the one known as Ashley Barty, and will be replaced by alternate Kiki Batens of the Netherlands. Osaka had defeated Petra Vitova in the sets on Sunday in the rematch of uh, January. Similarly, a gripping Australian Open final, uh, which actually was um, something they were looking forward to. Well, um, Abati was all set to be a blockbuster alongside um, uh, Naomi, but they met early in October in the final of a big tournament in Beijing, and it didn't disappoint with Osaka rallying for a three-set victory. Osaka, though, said she injured the shoulder there. And in Japan, in the build-up to the WTA finals, she barely hit a serve. So right now she's saying she's pulling out, of course, due to injury. And we have tennis stars who need to ensure that they take care of themselves. Or what say you, Ini? Yeah, um, look, um, for tennis stars, it, it looks like priorities is, is taking center stage now because um, as a tennis star, you're looking at the big tournaments, you're looking at the, the bigger picture, you want to be in those major tournaments. And with due respect to, to, to the tournament in Shenzhen, it's not quite um, top of the pile. It's not, it's not the biggest tournament by any stretch of the imagination. And you're, you're looking at the stars and she says she's injured, and you've got to believe her. She says she's injured and she's a professional, and I'll believe that. 
she's injured, but clearly, maybe it's precautionary, maybe it's about just carrying yourself well. We talked about Roger Federer yesterday. Mm -hmm. Roger Federer is about age, not just wanting to stretch us your your bones regularly. And but but for Naomi Osaka, it's quite disappointing. The event is is in China. She's from Japan. She's a big Asia star. They were looking for that duel with Bati. The fans were expecting, and now they're getting so bitterly disappointed that she's not going to to continue in the comp competition. Sad one for for the organizers. Sad one for the fans. But for the tennis star. It's, it's about her career. It's, it's about doing what is right for her career. That's true. All right, so uh, that does it from um, Naomi Osaka. Next news has it that um, a tour of California cancelled uh, uh, for 2020 with doubts over its future. Now, in case you do not know, the tour of California will not take place in 2020 uh, with the long-term uh, future of the race in serious doubt after organizers announced um, uh, a hiatus. Uh, the week-long race is the only American event on the UCI World Tour and has attracted some of the world's best riders over its 14-year history. Tour de France champion Saab Bradley Wiggins and Egan Bernal are among the former overall winners, while three-time former world champion Peter Sagan is actually um, a 17-time tour stage winner. And Mark Cavendish has 10 stage wins to his name. So, uh, cancelling tour the, uh, of California is actually starting to become something that people are talking about. It's been there for the past 14 years and now it's looking like it's coming to a halt. And, and you ask the question, what is going on behind the scenes? What, what are they not doing right? Why would they suddenly want to take a break? Why would they want to discontinue with a competition that is gaining so much momentum and gaining so much excitement in the, in the American community and even in, in the world? And you talk of Sir Bradley Wiggins, you talk of quality, quality people, people who, who have been there and done that. It's quite... It's quite sad, but questions must be asked. Why are they not doing it? Are they lacking in sponsors? Are people not showing the kind of interest that they, they anticipated? Those are the questions you want to ask, but it's not a good story, really. It's, it's not one that you want to hear because when you run a competition for 14 years, what you're looking at is posterity. You're looking at building it for a longer period of yes. time. But it, it looks like something is not quite right. And I, I hope they sort it out and continue after 2020 and, and come back as soon as possible. We hope they do that in no time. So. You're still watching Plus Sports. When we come back, we'll bring to you the story concerning Bulgaria as they have been given one-time stadium ban and much more also coming from the world of football. Stay with us.